Hi here, in this lecture, I want to construct a stack bar using the missing migrant uh, data. All right, what is the missing migrant data? Uh, let's go to the project site to take a look. All right, this project basically tracks the number of migrant fatalities and missing cases in the world. So what you are seeing here in the map are cases of fatalities and missing migrant. So for example, US-Mexico border, uh, 23 fatalities, etc. And the, this largest number is uh, due to a lot of migrants trying to cross the Mediterranean Sea by small boats uh, to get to Italy, to, to get to Europe. Um, and uh, most of them die in the ocean. So these are the data that this project is tracking. And basically, that's, I got the data from the, this download area. All right. Let's get started by importing uh, the necessary libraries, namely Pandas. The stack bar chart will be performed using Pandas. Then I'm importing NumPy. I will use NumPy to aggregate the data to get the sum of the total dead by region and uh, year. Then uh, Matplotlib for the titles, access labels, Seaborn uh, to set the styles and uh, team. All right. Let's take a look at the data. Okay, this is how the data looks like. We have a web ID, which is an identifier, and then the region where the incident happened. So like uh, in the US-Mexico border for the year 2017, the number of dead were 10, and uh, the total dead and missing was also 10. Uh, for this particular case, web ID 44026, this incident happened in the Mediterranean Sea, Nothing was reported here. Everything was missing. Total dead and missing too. And so on. Alright? What I'm trying to do is restrict myself to casualties and missing migrants in the area around Africa. So, as a DF region of incident that is in, and I list the area that is of interest to me. Basically, Horn of Africa, Mediterranean Sea, Middle East, North Africa, and Sub-Saharan Africa. So, this, these are the region, and I'm restricting to, to this area. Alright? And then df.lock will just return the data element comprising this area, and I'll write it to df2. Next... I'm doing a cross tab of the region of incident and the year using the total dead and missing. And I will aggregate that using the sum. So I'm using uh, np.sum. All right, so once we do that, let's take a look at the aggregation. So all I'm doing for the region that I selected and uh, the years, I'm getting the sum of fatalities and missing migrant. So that's what I'm doing here. Aggregation equal np sum. So total dead and missing for the Horn of Africa and uh, year 2015, there were 135 missing and dead migrant. All right. Once I created this summary table, then I can use it for the stack bar. By creating the stack bar, these, uh, the region of incident will be like the X, and each bar will have the year. So for example, each bar will have the migrant fatalities for 2014, 2015, 2016, and 2017. So to create the stack bar, it's important that we create that table, all right? 
and once we create that table we can pass it to the plot engine so you see summary summary that plot what type of bar so uh, what type of chart kind equal bar all right this is in pandas then I say stack is true all right so I want to create a stack bar if I say stack is false it won't stack the bars it will put them side by side and um, color is called flat UI basically is using these colors that I defined if I don't define the colors let's remove this we're just gonna use uh, the default colors so let's go go like that without using these colors all right so we have defined colors next we define the graph size the image size to be width of 10 and uh, height of 6 and then here I set the general context uh, I'm using a notebook a team font of 1.5 font scale is 1.5 and then these are the font uh, the different uh, for the title I'm using 16 and the label 16 the size so, so these are this is a global uh, font setting and as usual I'm using uh, the dark gray style from uh, Seaborn and the syntax is really straightforward once we create this table is summary the table that I created that plot and then I say kind equal bar stack is true and what you are seeing here then is just uh, the title plt that title so I provide a title plt that y label so provide a label for the y axis which is number of death and then x uh, label the region of casualties all right, let's execute this. Okay. Again, because I did not specify color here, I'm getting I'm getting the default colors. These are the default colors. So we don't have to uh specify some colors if we are if we are happy with what uh, the plot engine will give us. All right? So looking at this, all right? you can see then that most of the death and missing happen in the Mediterranean Sea so when people are trying to cross the sea in small boats to get to Italy and other parts of Europe and in year 2016 that's where the vast majority of dead and missing occurred followed by 2015 alright next it's North Africa that's where the conflict in Libya uh, it's happening all right so a lot of casualties and missing migrant and uh, in 2016 and 2015 aside from that uh, the other areas registered uh, the other areas in Africa and the Horn registered relatively small number of casualties and missing all right let's suppose then we want to use the colors that are defined I will just say color or colors both will work equal flat UI actually colors is going is being deprecated and they want us to use color singular all right see we change the colors now same chart different colors another thing we can do if we don't like the fact that this text is rotated vertically uh, we can just pass it uh, a plt that x takes all right then uh, a rotation say a rotation equal uh, negative 45 so it's going to tilt it all right let's take a look you see it tilted it all right obviously if we make it 180 uh, the text will collide all right so this is uh, the idea of the stock bar now 
if we change the, the stack to false, then the bar will be side by side. So you see, that's, uh, here stack is false, so it's not stacked. Again, 2016 being high for the Mediterranean region, followed by uh, 2015. All right, thank you.